guys, it's me and today I wanted to do a makeup slash beauty organization video. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me to do this after I posted pictures of the new dividers that I got for my palettes and so I thought today would be perfect because we have so much sunlight right now. Uh, we have tons of snow on the ground so the light is reflecting like crazy and coming in through the windows so I was like this is the perfect day to do it. So I thought I would just show you guys what I do with all my stuff and how I kind of store it all. We are in my bedroom right now, obviously, and of course, we don't have a lot of space in our house, so I try to make the most out of the areas that we do have. My room is basically like our makeshift office, sometimes entertainment area, and just everything that I need that's mine is in our in our bedroom because it keeps the stuff away from the kids and also I used to keep my stuff in the bathroom and that always caused me trouble because when John was taking a shower the mirror would fog up or it would be too hot and steamy in there or if the kids were going to the bathroom that kind of thing. So this is kind of what I've done and as you guys know from my previous videos a lot has changed. I've kind of slowly changed our bedroom and the stuff that we have and my storage over the last three years so. Here we go. First I'll show you the messy side of the room. This is where we store all of our clothes and all of that. John still has an unpack from LA. <laughs> our bedside nightstand tables just look so messy and I just have all of my lighting and stuff over there. And then right here are just some things I need to open to do reviews on, but that's the messy side. Right when you walk in on the right is all of our dressers and kind of storage and our TV and all of that. And it kind of just pans around into my area, which is over there. Starting off over here, let me just say everything is from Ikea that I'm pro probably showing. If it's not from Ikea, I will tell you otherwise. This is just a very tall drawer set that I have. I store all of my, you know, unmentionables in there, my workout clothing, and then on top is my jewelry. Next to that is my jewelry tree, which is where I hang all of my necklaces and then just some decoration and stuff. I have a picture up there and then our TV is up there. And then of course, just my computer, it's uploading something right now. And then all these three drawers down here are full of clothing, except for that bottom drawer right there. That is full of all of my purses when I'm not using them. Like I mentioned, this is my necklace tree. I just have all my necklaces and bangles hanging from there. I got this from Target. It was like $14. I do believe they carry a type of necklace holder like this but I don't think it's the one that I have. And then over here is just my Bose speaker set that you just lift off and can take with you wherever you want. It's just Bluetooth and it just plugs in and docks right there. This is my computer stuff. I don't usually have it sitting here but I just need to get out of the way so that I could show you guys my vanity. And then over here are just all of my sheet masks. Every single one of the sheet masks that I use are in this basket. Over here I have a spongeable that I need to actually put in my shower to use. And then just this little drawer right here that's acrylic. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Right now I have some sample perfumes in it and my lotions that I use and John uses on top. And then over here I have all my nail polish. They're kind of in order by brand and also like sparkly matte kind of stuff like that. That is for basically all my overflow that doesn't fit into this nail polish rack right here. Over here on top of this other tall drawer set I have a bunch of my perfumes and just a body spray and then all of my little deluxe minis down here. In this top drawer basically I keep all the stuff that I have that's waiting to be used. So like an extra Dr. Bronner soap for me to wash my brushes with. Extra hair bands because you can never have too many of them. This little bun thing, an extra lip gloss, an extra hand sanitizer, some lippies that I'm not using yet. I don't want to open them because I don't want them to go bad. Some Claudely hand lotion, some perfumes, and just stuff like that. So any like type of big samples I put in here. And this drawer down here is just all of my hair accessories, anything like my clips, my headbands, my chopsticks, anything like that. My brush is down here. This should actually be down here as well. And then the th third drawer down, I didn't clean up anything for you guys because I figured you might as well see what it looks like all the time. This is literally just overflow again. I have some uh, makeup remover wipes. Actually, I have a ton of those. I have um, a backup Kenra hairspray that I bought when I was out visiting Lisa, and just some extra things like candles, nail polish, um, foot lotion. All of this stuff is just literally extras or things that are on open that I haven't gotten a chance to use or that I have as backups. And then I have all of my nail polish remover and foot stuff and hand stuff in this little basket over here. Moving down to this fourth drawer down, this is my face mask drawer. Uh, this is just where I keep all of my bottled face masks or foot masks or hand Hand masks and just things that are not sheet masks all go in here or that are in boxes. And then down here is my work drawer. Anything that I use for work like my headphones, hot glue gun, screen cleaners, my mini suit, um, selfie stick, 
uh, a touch pad iMac thingy. Like I just have all anything that's like work related in my mind goes in here. And then in the very bottom drawer is just all my travel stuff. So any of the things that I have for travel, like bags, uh, deluxe minis of stuff or travel size lotions or face wash or hairsprays all go down there. This is just a bag full of makeup that I don't use or have never used that I got for free or that I got by mistake that I'm trying to get rid of. I have my travel makeup case that I just bought while I was out in LA. And then down here is just all of my hair stuff. So all my extra hair tools, all my extra hair products are down here in this little caddy. And then we have my vanity. On the shelf that sits on above my vanity, I have all of my hair products right here. I have some face lotions that I use at nighttime and all of my setting sprays, my Urban Decay, my MAC Prep and Prime, my Scandinavia. And then I have all of my lippy type glosses and lipsticks sitting in here. I like this thing. It just sits up like that and I can see everything and all the colors that I need to use up so nothing goes to waste. And then we have the top of my vanity, which I just got done doing my makeup. So it looks a little bit of a mess and I have the rest of my green smoothie over there that I need to finish. Over here on the right of my mirror, I have these two Ikea baskets. These are just for pencils and stuff. I think they were a dollar a piece. I had John drill them into the wall so that I could get them up off of my vanity to give me more space for other things. And then in here, I just have my face brushes and my eyeshadow brushes. If you guys want to see a video on my favorite brushes, let me know. I know a few of you guys asked about that, and I would be happy to do a video like that. So... Give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below if you want to see something like that. And then moving down here, I have my Scentsy Candle Warmer. I have my Pocket Bunny, which I hate that name. I think it's not a good name. That is just a face mister. Panda Eye Brightening Stick. And then I have this cord holder thing so that way when I unplug my battery, my cord doesn't fall behind the desk. And this is just a RAV Power. I've talked about this in some of my favorites video. It's basically just a travel battery that you can plug in your phone, your camera, your iPad, your computer, anything into. And then we have my storage for my makeup that I got from Office Max, which is actually now called Office Depot as well. I guess they combined. Did not know that. These are all from C. Jane Work. That's the brand that this is. This is in the Harry blue or teal herringbone I think is what the collection was called and what this thing is is just a pencil holder and what I've done with it is I put all of my eyeliners in here and my Korean barrettes. I've had a few people ask about these barrettes. These barrettes you actually can't find online at least I haven't been able to unless you want to pay an ungodly amount of shipping or buy them in bulk. I actually had a subscriber in Australia offer to purchase them through a friend who lives in Korea who sent them to me so I apologize, but I don't know exactly the name of these barrettes or where you can find them for a good price. But you can sometimes find these in some Asian or Korean stores, I do know that. But they are just a little bit overpriced. I think they're like $14 a piece if you get them in a store. Other than my barrettes, I do also have my little um, tweezers that I put on the side of my box as well. And then inside is just all of my colored eyeliners and regular eyeliners. I have Urban Decay, I have Stila, I have more Stila, I have this uh, Their Real Benefits eyeliner, which I hate and I don't know why I'm holding on to it. I have some, um, I forget, Shui Ui Murray, I don't know how to pronounce that, sticks. Um, and just a bunch of different eyeliners and two different mascaras. I have my Clinique High Impact Mascara and then also my Better Than Sex Mascara. And that's just kind of where I keep all of my eye pencils and eyeliners and stuff like that are just in this box. Moving on next to this, this is where I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes and most of my bronzers. Anything that's like in a palette form I keep here. I love, love, love these. These are basically letter dividers or paper dividers. You can find these at any type of office store. I used to have an Ikea little mesh basket that everything fit into but it just my eyeshadows outgrew it. These are really nice because they're kind of open-ended so I can kind of squeeze as many in or some can go off the ends a little bit. These are three different ones that I hot glued together. They were $7.99 at Office Max and they're made out of like a really hard cardboard. Like I won't say it's wood but it's not also like a cardboard like a cardboard box. It's like a really thick 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 cardboard. So I really, really like these. I like the way they look. I like the way they match my vanity and I like the way that my palettes are able to sit up and be visible completely for me. Another thing that I like about these dividers is that they're kind of deep too. So if ever I get another palette, I can always move one on top of the other and then have room for another one. That's why I went back and got a third divider just so that way if this collection did sell out, I wouldn't have a mismatched one and I could still grow a little bit more if I wanted to with my palettes. So starting off on the right is just my bronzers. I have this Bare Minerals Each is Waiting bronzer and highlighter little quad or trio thing. I have this Naked Urban Decay Flushed palette which I really really love. This is just a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. I use this 
so much as you can see um, it's just a really good bronzer for the summer next that I have my Too Faced chocolate Soleil bronzer and I love this stuff this is what I use just to if I'm not doing like an actual high contour behind it I have my Stila palettes I have my soul palette and then my mind palette behind that and then I have my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette behind that. Then moving on next to that, I have my two chocolate bar palettes. Below that, I have my Lorac Pro to Go palette. I love this palette. I highly suggest this to anyone who wants an all-encompassing palette. It's got some great eyeshadows on one side that make really nice looks. And then on the other side, it has a nice blush, blush, and a bronzer. And then below that, I have my Smashbox Full Exposure Mini Palette. I love this thing. I picked it up, I think it was $20 at Sephora in their little travel to go. And it's just a nice little travel palette as well. Next to that, I have my Kat Von D S Bronze palette, which I bought last almost exactly a year ago last spring and it's just got some really pretty fun spring colors in it and above that I have my NARS palette this is one that I got right before Christmas during the VIB sale and this is just an amazing palette it comes with a bronzer a blush and then four different eyeshadows that are very pigmented then moving over here I have my Tarte Magnificent palette a lot of you guys have asked me if I'm going to buy the new Tarte palette that's all matte and I don't think I will because I do own this Magnificent palette which are all matte colors that are kind of similar to the new one and then I also have my Stila Mind palette which is all mattes as well so I think I'm good between those two but this one is really nice it's got six different matte eyeshadows and then a really pretty blush and then two dark colors as well for eyeliner or whatever you want to do. We have a brown and then also a black. And above that I have my Kat Von D palette in Ladybird. I haven't used this as much as I've liked. I've done a few fall looks with it but it's a really nice palette as well. And then above that I have my Naked 2 and my Naked 3 palette. Then moving down I have my Anastasia contour kit and then below that I have my two Naked Basics palettes one and two. And then moving on over here I have an Urban Decay Urban Decay Quad with palette which I've put just four different colors that I really like that I bought as singles. And then above that I have the new Lorac Gold Unzipped palette which I bought while I was at IMATS as well. I still have not done a look with this so if you want to see one let me know. It's such a pretty palette. I'm really actually more excited to use this during the summer when I'm more tan but Oh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And then above that, I have my Kat Von D Monarch palette. This is a really, really pretty palette that I used a bunch over the spring. And then above that, I have my Z palette that has a bunch of MAC singles and blushes that I picked up over the fall. And then behind that is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette that is just nicely snug and fit in there. So I really like this setup. This really works for me because I can see every single palette. Like I said in other videos, if I can't see everything in front of me, something always goes unused. So I spent way too much money on these things to not use them so I'm loving the way this looks because again there's not a single palette that is not visible when I sit down to do my makeup. Moving on for my eyeshadow palettes down here I have my beauty blender just sitting it's drying out and then I'll put it away and then I have my face stuff. I like to use the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty every day and every night. I have my Benefits Instant Comeback Facial Serum and behind that I have the Benefit Moisture Prep toning lotion and then behind that I have my to Tony Moly I'm Real Rice Toner which I'm not I don't know I'm not 100% a huge fan of it but I like it so I'm gonna finish it up before I buy a new one and then next to that I have my Mario Badescu drying lotion which helps me dry up my zits which a lot of you guys asked me if I really like it and I do it dried up my zits immediately overnight and I had no breakouts and the next to all of that I have my little cotton pad holder. I, I got this from Daiso's while I was in LA and it just holds all my cotton pads and the cotton pads come out the bottom so they don't get all dusty. And then I have my little elephant that I got from Lisa to put my rings on while I do my makeup. And then my hand cream and then some stress relief antibacterial stuff. And then my light up mirror from Costco which I don't think they sell this anymore but you can find it online. If I can find it I will leave it underneath this video. And then moving up here next to the left side of the mirror I have an Ikea utensil holder like kitchen utensil holder and I had John drill that in so that I could put my wands and my straighteners when I'm not using them right after I get done using them I can put them up there while they're hot and they don't melt anything and then last but not least we have the inside of my drawer so I know this video is getting long and probably tedious so I'm gonna hurry this up all the stuff on the left of the drawer is literally just stuff that I have as backups that I got while I was in IMATS like I have a chocolate Soleil bronzer when I run out my other ones two primed and poreless compacts for when I run out of those I have a duo adhesive for my eyelashes when I run run out of that. I have some oil blotting sheets behind there, some Stila Stay All Day eyeliner pens again for when I run out of my other ones, a Kevin Aquan mascara because I want to try it but I'm waiting to use up the rest of my Better Than Sex mascara before I open it. I have two Better Than Sex mascaras because I go through them about every other month. I have some Healthy Deodorant by La Vanilla. This stuff smells really good. And then I have this Goji Berry eye cream which I have not used. I got it in a Fun box. 
I have my little beauty blender holder that I put my beauty blenders in once they are dried out. Some Jurelic Rose Water Balancing Spray, which I got in one of my little kits that I bought from Sephora, and then also some eye makeup remover. And then I said I have some Hourglass Primers. They're little minis because they were sold out of the full-size ones, so I bought the mini ones instead. I have an extra Radiant Concealer by NARS when I run out of my other one. I have some Foundation Primer by Laura Mercier, which is again for when I run out of my other one. I bought all this stuff at IMATS when it was on sale. And then I have my foundations and everything else that I use on my face. So I have some Bare Minerals Prime Time, um, some foundation primer that I got for free. So once this is run out, I'll start using that one. My Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, a facial moisturizer back there that I'm not a huge fan of, uh, two Dream Wonders. One of them is not the color for me. I don't know why I'm hanging on to it. And my Prime and Poreless that I use to touch up while I'm sitting at my desk. And then moving on to this divider, which I got these acrylic dividers from Myers. I have all of my eye stuff that I use, like my eye tools. So I have an eyelash curler, my eyelash glue, my eyelash scissors, and then also a eyeliner pencil sharpener by Urban Decay. It's just a grindhouse one. And then down here I have basically all of like, I don't know, they're just all the same shape. So I have my Hourglass Foundation Primer, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which I'm a huge fan of as you guys know, my NARS Custard Radiant Concealer, my Wine Concealer, which I like that is running low. And then I have some miscellaneous stuff like my primers for my eyeshadow, an Abriva thing for when I get a cold sore, my eyebrow highlighter, and then some Boiron uh, cold calm for kids. I don't know why that's in there. I just, I don't know. It's in there. And then in this section, I have all my eyebrow stuff. I have my eyebrow pencils. I have a Leo Ali auto eyebrow pencil. I have my Anastasia eyebrow brow whiz pencil, a sleek a uh, powder compact, two dip brows in two different colors because my hair changes constantly, and then a brow bar to go, which is what I've been using. And then moving into the middle section, I have all my powders. So, so I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, my Urban Decay Finishing Powder, kind of, I don't know, you could actually probably use it as a light foundation as well, my Ben Nye Luxury Powder, uh, an NYC bronzer that I'm not using currently, and then my lip stuff that I like to put on while I'm doing my makeup before I put on lipstick. And then in this little bamboo box back here, I just have a ton of eyelashes. And then over here I have all of my kind of eyeshadow singles. So back here I have all of my MAC singles, which I have four singles and then also a uh, pigment. And then over here I have my Stila, my Urban Decay, and then my color tattoos, and then also another MAC one that goes back there. Um, and then a Bare mineral single as well. And then up here I have my NARS Dual Intensity Singles, some random deluxe mini eyeliners that I like to keep for my purse or when I travel, and then my Lorac um, Shimmers, and then also my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which is amazing. And then way back here I have more <laughs> eyelashes because I went a little crazy at eye mats because they were so cheap. And then a, in front of that I have all of my blushes. Again, everything is set up as you can see so that I can see every single thing that I have. So when I open it up, nothing goes wasted. So I have all of my blushes here. I have two NARS blushes. One of them's in the color Dolce Vita. The other one is in, I believe, Sin. Yep, Sin. And then I have a Kat Von D uh, blush, which is really, really pretty in truth. It's just a natural flushed pink. I have my Benefit Coralista uh, Bare Minerals color. I have um, this one, which is, I believe, Wild Honey by Becca, which is amazing. The Stila one, a MAC one and Ethereal Sun that I really like. A NYX one in Borgeous Pig. My Hourglass one in Radiant Magenta. My Hourglass blush palette and then also behind that I have Hot Mama by The Bomb. And then in front of that I have all my highlighters. So I have my Mary Lou bronzer or highlighter by The Bomb. I have an Hourglass one in Luminous Light. And then this is my palette as you guys know that I'm in love with. And then I have two Becca ones. One in Topaz and then one in Rose Gold which are really really pretty but more summer colors. So and then over here I have my cream and liquid highlighters which is What's Up and then also this BB Plus Illumination by Gerard Cosmetics. So like I said I have everything in order and place so that I can see everything so that I'll use everything and so that nothing will go to waste because I hate when makeup goes to waste so yeah this way I can see everything that I have and use everything that I have. So there you guys have it. That is how I store all of my beauty products and all of my makeup. And again, nothing goes unseen or unused. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below or subscribe if you want to. Thanks for the suggestion. It gave me something to do today while I was snowed in on emergency level three. John couldn't even leave for work because we're just, we're under level three. Nobody's allowed to be on the road. So thank you for the suggestion. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.